Hello again and welcome back. This is the 17th of the 32 talks on composing music and it's the last of three talks about Schubert. In the first, we worked on a parody composition based on a skeleton of one of his songs and using material from other songs, snippets. The second talk was about chromatic harmony with particular reference to one of his songs, Schäfer's Klagerlied. And now in this third talk, we're going to be looking or using that song again and just using it as a skeleton. Now you remember how we did this. This is the skeleton, just the harmony reduced to its simplest form. skeleton, I can work through the song on that, on those lines. And now I am going to take just that skeleton and produce new lines. But first of all, I need my text. So I'm taking now from Moses Mendelssohn. This is the grandfather of Felix the composer. Yeah? Moses Mendelssohn did, translated all of the Psalms, and this is his 27th Psalm. We're taking the 7th to the 10th verses and the 1st verse. Uh, some of you may know a, um, a setting of his 23rd psalm, which uh, Schubert did, also based on the Moses Mendelssohn text. So, I have my skeleton. I'm going to transpose it into D minor. But now I'm not taking snippets. Now I'm going to compose my own melodies, more or less in the style of Schubert, but I'm not particularly anxious now to try and fool people that this really is a Schubert song. I'm just using this for my own for my own fun, just as a composition composition exercise. And I'm taking a line which follows the text. Ach ewiger Erhörer, wenn ich flehe. Okay, just following the natural following of uh, the uh, the rise and fall of the text. first of all so that the text more or less fits the music that I have at my disposal and then uh, I can see how this fits into the harmony using melodic lines just one line for the time being I'm going to start composing some counterpoint later on but this is just going to be my basic line which holds the thing together so my next job is to look at three-part counterpoint. I've decided to set this like Schubert sets the 23rd Psalm for two sopranos and one alto voice and piano. So I have my sketch. I have my basic uh, lines that I've done according to the, to the intonation of the text. And now I can play around with this according to the basic laws of counterpoint. And um, I'm, what I'm trying to do, obviously, is as much imitation as possible and to give the individual voices their own interesting lines to sing as much as possible, not just filling in the harmony. OK, this obviously takes quite a long time. I'm not pretending I did this in two seconds. But anyway, this is what then comes out. And I'm going to play this now from my talented friend again.
So now I've decided to go one stage further still. Obviously I have to do the piano part, but whilst I'm doing that, I think, well, I may want to add a little introduction, and perhaps I might just write this now for a four-part choir. So I juggle around a little bit with the alto and certain soprano parts. The first soprano can stay more or less as it is, and I add the bass line more or less in keeping with the bass line of the piano as I would have had anyway. So, I have a ritonello, an introduction, and a, a coda, a little bit, a couple of extra bars I've added in the middle, give the choir a little bit of a break, and, um, and then this is how I would then present this. This is something that we could perhaps present in a church service. Um, this is the complete version. So, go and do that likewise.